hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are gonna be looking at yet another footies premium card now this is none other than oxlade chamberlain now i know many of you guys who have been following football for a long time know who he is which team he has played for and how good he actually is i feel like he's one of those underrated players you know who just you know go under the radar a lot but in today's video we're going to be looking at his 97 rated center mid footies premium card now we will definitely get full cam despite the fact that he's playing for super league uh but yeah let us get started i'll in the, this video we'll be looking at his stats his player bio his play style pluses his play styles how he actually is in game compared to his stats on the screen so yeah let us get into it i'm really excited for this guys so first off let us just look at his first page on the screen you guys can see high attacking and high uh, defensing work rate you guys can see the card right he has 90 rated stats overall so 96 pace 92 shooting 94 passing 97 dribbling he has 90 defending and 92 physical as well with five star five star preferred foot is right so he is gonna be a really nice card to play in the game i'm hoping and you can play him at cdm and cam so presentiment cam and dm you can play him at which is actually pretty good you know you know down dead in the middle a bit higher a bit to the deep so which is actually pretty cool and looking at his stats in depth 90 uh, 96 pace he has 97 acceleration you know that's actually pretty insane he always was a page mer i mean pace merchant so it makes sense that he still is able to have that much pace and he has 92 shooting, he has 97 shot par, he has 95 long shots, uh, he has 90 finishing, which is a bit low, but I mean, we'll work with it. We'll see how it is in game, we'll see how it is in game. I'm going to be testing out pace, shooting, passing and dribbling, the first four attributes we are going to be testing out in game. So make sure you guys stick till the end to check how it actually is in game, guys. And coming to passing, 94 passing. He has 96 crossing, which is actually pretty cool. And 91 long pass, 90 curve, 96 short pass. Those, those are pretty decent, uh, you know, passing stats, I would say. 96 short pass is really good. Long pass is also really good. As 96 crossing. And then dribbling, he has 98 ball control, 98 dribbling, 97 balance, 91 agility. 92 composure. Composure, yeah, I guess 92 will be good enough. I'm guessing and under defending he has 94 interception guys 94 interceptions 91 stand tackle these two are actually pretty insane i feel like most of us will just use those two i know i i mean i personally don't slide tackle a lot unless i get you know i'm bored in the game and i just want to mess about but i feel like stand tackle and interceptions are really good stats 90 defensive awareness as well pretty decent and he has 92 stamina which is which is not mind blowing but it's not less as well so i guess 92 will do uh 97 aggression so these are actually looking pretty good on on paper i would say you have to do two squad build guys i think it's an 87 and an 89 if i'm not wrong we'll check that in a minute but as of now i feel like it is a really good card 97 rated card guys 97 rated card so i kind of have high hopes for it and uh, looking at the play style pluses he has power shot plus he have incisive pass plus technical plus and rapid plus with flare relentless jockey intercept and whipped pass as his normal play styles now looking at the sbc itself you have to complete an 87 and an 89 so for the 89 you need to have an informer a team of the season player in and for the 87 you need an english player and the thoughts or a team of the week player in. so yeah pretty decent i would say as of now for a 97 rated premium card i'm um, uh, uh, for this premium i think i would say this is actually pretty reasonable because i know a bunch of packs are being opened all over the you know uh, fifa community ea community people are opening packs and going ham for footies and as you guys are trying to pack footies you guys will be packing a bunch of order as well which is always good to have because you guys can put them in sbcs like this this we will test it out i don't know how many of you guys have already done it if you guys have done it please leave a comment it will help others out as well how you guys <coughs> are able to you know play with a player like this so yeah okay guys i put oxlade in, in a in a team now i'll show you the team in a minute but he gets plus four instant speed that takes it 
to a next level now this card looks this card actually looked really good before getting this uh, boosted stats make sure you guys pause the video and see all the plus fours plus threes plus ones wherever he gets that he gets 99 dribbling 99 ball control he gets 95 stand tackle he gets 94 defensive awareness he gets 99 sprint speed like you said he gets 99 shot pass he gets 99 shot power uh, some of these stats were already good and are now getting boosted which is which is insane guys now this is the team i'm using i am trying to get the team of the team of the year uh, you know frame for sunil chetri because i know a lot of us even from i'm from india so many people from india watch uh, a lot of a bunch of footballers from you know outside india but no matter what when it comes to our country uh, Sunil Chetri is always at the forefront and he is what top 5 uh, all time international goal scorers so I have to put respect on his name so I'm gonna get the team of the year frame for him using the Evo so I have him involved and I have my 78 El Sharave which is at 95 right now and yeah let us just grind this out so I am using Oxlade at camp so it will be a bit more attacking mindset than just CM and like a playmaker thing so you know we'll get a taste of how it'll be in, how how it'll be in camp so yeah he feels rapid guy i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna lie if he feels rapid damn i have conceded already how am i conceding in squad battles against a gold winnie where is x where is oxlet He has good passing guys, I'm not gonna lie, he has good, good, so far, we have tested him for what, 9 minutes of in-game time, he has good pace and he has good passing, and good skill move as well, ooh, that was a pretty, pretty shot, you know, I'm not gonna lie, that was good, wait, is he good at corners, I don't know, maybe, we'll check it out, we'll check it out, he is pretty decent at corners, I'm not gonna lie, I can use him at corners as well. I don't know if he usually takes headers, I've not seen him that much play, but we, like, I've seen him play, I've not seen him that play that much in real life, so I have no idea whether, like, he's good in corners and stuff, but dribbling and pace is actually pretty good. Now, I don't know how to show you guys, I mean, uh, talk to you guys about the whole ball control aspect, because... I tend to lose the ball a lot, like that, like that, for instance, unnecessary things I do, and I lose the ball, but I would say, so far, he's a pretty decent, uh, you know, centre midfielder, guys. For a cam, he's playing really well, he has good shooting, he has good passing, and he has a uh, good crossing as well. So, I would say, you guys can definitely complete this, you guys can definitely complete this, I would say it is worth it, because, like I said, a bunch of you guys will be opening a ton of facts and you guys will have a lot of order just lying around you guys are not gonna do anything with it so i think the best thing to do is invest in players like this now if you guys can wait it out and try to you know put it in icons and stuff that is fair but if you guys don't have that many players but you have a decent number of players and you need a center mid or a center attacking mid or a cdm even for that instance I don't know how many of you guys have finished Gattuso, but I feel like Gattuso has, he's a really good CDM, guys. He's a really good. I've been using him a, a lot right now. Uh, on paper, stats might look weak, but Gattuso is really good. But leaving Gattuso aside, I would say Oxlade Chamberlain, really good card. Do recommend it. I mean, do recommend completing this. Uh, it is good. It is good. Like the, the whole stats so far is looking really good. Now, the team I'm playing against is super high rated. So we're not able to, you know, test like uh, usual. I don't know why I selected this high, high, high rated squad and I'm playing in world class. So the bot is like too irritating and pissing off. But it is what it is. Like I've tested him so far. He's looking really good. Now we just have to test some uh, passing stats. Shooting, I'm really satisfied. Pace, I'm really satisfied. Dribbling, also, I'm satisfied. We just need to test some, you know, passing out. Whoa, that's a pretty good shot, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Chamberlain has good shooting, guys. He literally has 
it, it, I don't know, it feels so good when he shoots the Trivella and he shoots normal, you know, finish shot. It feels really, it feels really good. Could you guys look at that? My guy slid. Okay, we are at half time. I have tested out his passing. He has really good shot pass. Like that one thing that I've come to know, he has really good shot pass. He has whip pass uh, play style, not the whip pass plus. He has whip pass play style. But I feel like whip pass feels a little bit weak. I'm not sure why, but it does. He has incisive pass plus, if I'm not wrong, which feels really good. Uh, he has good long shot. He has good, I mean, long pass. He has good crossing. His crossing is actually really good. And coming to dribbling, he has really good dribbling and pretty decent ball control. And he has insane pace, guys. And his shooting, you saw, is just too good. Now, like I said, in before we jumped into the game, the finishing is at 90. It's not too low to the point where it'll be bad, but it's not high to the point where he's gonna score goals from you know way way outside the box. But it is really good. Now I don't know. I will if I would suggest you guys use him as cam just yet. Try him at center mid. If you guys have tried him at center mid, please leave a comment. It'll help me out. It'll help a lot of people who watch these videos out as well. Which is the best position for him? But yeah, I would definitely suggest complete this card. It's a really good card. I would say, I would say, Fringe would say it is worth it. Now, I don't know how you guys feel. Please leave a comment. It helps out a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know what the next video is going to be. Maybe a Heroes Footies player review or maybe something else. I don't know. Maybe a pack opening. I'm saying packs also. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll then take care, stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling. Bye-bye.